My name's Pam and I'm a producer here at Climax Studios. So at Climax we've been working on a VR game, which is our second VR game at Climax Studios, which is Bandit 6 Salvo. And that's part of the Bandit 6 franchise that we have going. So Salvo differs from the first one because the first one was in a plane, so it was originally a tail gunner, so you had the back of a Lancaster bomber. Whereas this one, you have a bit more freedom with your guns. So we have three guns and you have four positions and you basically jump from turret to turret and you have to make sure that you're defending the enemy from the beaches that you're located at. And there's a lot more enemies in compared to the first one. So instead of just having different planes, you have tanks and you have ships and you have, so you have a lot of land-based and air-based. So in that kind of aspect, the enemies are very different. So you kind of, instead of it just being here, you're kind of going up and down, left and right. So you kind of come from all angles. And um, well, there is some levels where you have to you have to turn around like there's one level for example where you're on a boat and there's literally everything coming around you you have planes so you do have to kind of turn around and look there's a whole 360 view behind you which again differs from the band the original bandit 6 game you do have to use your whole 360 on certain levels it was quite hard at first especially when you're on a boat and it moves as well so the boat's moving so things like motion sickness you have to be really careful of but the tracking worked quite well so when you looked at it, you have like a little red dot on screen. And when you looked at the planes or anything coming by, it was fairly easy to handle. The art style is a very cell shaded art style and that gives it more of an arcadey fun feel. So it's not kind of a, you know, really kind of dark and gloomy. It's very bright, it's very inviting and it's a great art style and I think it works really well for the game. No, it's not so violent. You don't see any blood or anything like that. So I think a large range of people will enjoy Bandit 6 Elbow. I think um, even including the usability as well, it's very easy to pick up and just put on and use and you easily get a handle. So you can actually connect up any controller and play. When we first decided to have it for both in kind of like ease of access, it was quite hard to use the swipe controls, but we managed to work around that and it's actually quite nice because you just swipe, you can swipe up and down to change your turrets and then left and right will do the same thing as well and then you tap to fire. So it wasn't as difficult as we first presumed it was going to be. There's no ambitions as yet to port to any kind of desktop. Well, people know the franchise as well, so people like familiarity with the franchise. So when they say, oh, Bandit 6 Salvo, I play Bandit 6, you know, we know this is going to be good, we know how to play it, you know, you know, they know what to expect and users really enjoy that kind of thing. I mean, well, right now, Bandit 6 is top of the Samsung charts, so we're hoping to lead on from that success and, you know, maybe even get a higher than the original game, that'd be great. I think we stand out quite well, mainly because our art style is very different to the whole kind of sci-fi, very kind of, you know, neon Tron-esque kind of style they have. And ours is also set in like World War II and you're on like the beaches of Britain and you're in Russia, you're in the Pacific. So I think we'll stand out for all the right reasons. So Banner 6 Salvo will be coming out along with the consumer launch of the Samsung Gear VR, which will be around sometime in November.